Hi, welcome to our latest edition of Doctors Design Wellness Blog. So this week, there's a study that came out that talks about there's a 35% increase in type 2 diabetes amongst tweens. What that means is kids aged between 10 and 18, there's a 35% increase in type 2 diabetes. Remember, they used to call that adult onset diabetes. They can no longer call it adult onset diabetes because now we're having kids getting this disease. Now we're having kids as young as 10 years old. And what they're discovering is that many of these people have it because their mother had gestational diabetes while they were pregnant. And then this translates into a higher sensitivity to these kids getting diabetes. Well, what we know about gestational diabetes and about uh, newborn babies is that the average newborn baby has over 200 chemicals, pollutants, toxins in their body and these are babies who yet to take their first breath of air and eat their first bite of food. So we are basically born toxic into a toxic world. These toxins inhibit insulin and leptin and cortisol and thyroid function. Most importantly for our conversation today, these chemicals inhibit insulin function. Well, how does that inhibit insulin function? Well, let me say, say this. On the cell wall, on every cell wall, you have these insulin receptors. The way to think of it is this. Insulin triggers into this insulin receptor. It goes into the interior of the cell wall and it stimulates a formation of a doorway. What they call it a glucose cell transport vesicle. It's a doorway that opens up and allows glucose to come into the cell. Well, the glucose can be burned in, in the furnace of the interior part of the cell. What happens is, imagine that if you were to say, go to your front door of your house and stick a popsicle, popsicle stick into the, the, where the key would insert and then break the popsicle stick off. Well, now if you were wanting to get into your house, you could not stick your key in it because the key could not get into where the lock was because of the stick was there, right? So what happens is when you have the chemical in this area where the insulin is supposed to go, because of the chemical mimics that of the insulin, insulin is no longer functional. These chemicals are called persistent organic pollutants. And we need to make an effort to get rid of these at the cellular level. So this is why it's so critical that everybody engages in some sort of a legitimate, medically proven cellular detox. If you want more information than that, call our office. And again, look forward to talk to you in our next video blog.